I think this is a steamer. Steamer clothes. They were famous years ago. But not anymore. Okay, I'm gonna grab my HMS. I'm gonna do an HMS run. I just caught my eye here and there was a bunch of uh, stuff sitting there, so I figured I'll check it out. Just never know what pops up. It's actually um, recycle day today, so maybe, you know, something might pop up, who knows. I was, I had to run to Covedale and drop a report off and now I'm back, so. I was hoping it would stop raining, but no, it's just no, no difference. It stops for a few minutes, it just gets worse. So I'll figure out how to do the HMS, hopefully maybe get rid of my tires. Maybe, and uh, maybe do some bottles, we'll see. See how my schedule goes. Okay, stay tuned. Couple of Freon tanks here. It's a wire here. Actually, helium, sorry. They're helium. Actually, actually pretty heavy. Someone must have had a party or something. Okay. Okay.
Okay, I'm gonna keep loading. Okay, um, riding pretty heavy, I think. Feels heavy in the back here. It's pretty low, but I'm kind of on a hill here, so. I don't know how much more I can put in here, if I can put any more at all. Hmm. Get rid of the bee. Get rid of this, this stuff here. Put this heavy one in further up. I'll have to leave some of this for next time. Okay, I'll leave the rest here. I got one, two, three, four, six. So I'll leave that just to be safe. The tranny's leaking so much fluid, I don't know what's going on. They told me uh, it's a seal behind the transmission. So it needs to be replaced, so I have to find out who's going to do it, and how much. So, okay, we'll go to the scrap period. Okay, stay tuned. I'm thinking right now it's like 1200 pounds right now. Okay.
load there uh yeah it's good i didn't take it all because it would have been too heavy for the vehicle i thought well i put the rotors near the back so it really weighed the back end down so brought the back end really low but i've had more weight in this vehicle before but it was probably more spread out to the middle versus the i like to put the rotors in the back because those usually go right to the um there's a bin there to dump the rotors in right anyways it was uh 1300 pounds 190 a ton and it came out to 123.50 total. So uh, not too bad. Anyways, uh, okay, I can head back, grab my tires, dump those off hopefully, and uh, I'll have to do a couple other things after that. Okay, so stay tuned. Fill up my tire, please.
looking pretty high, it's Tire Mountain. Okay, that's it for tires to my yard. What's the relief? Okay, okay. I think Buggy's not too bad. Okay. Okay, I'll let you know when I get set up there. Okay, he's just starting away right now. Same routine as last time. Pop cans of pop cans, glass of glass. Plastic with plastic. Beer with beer.
takes them on. So we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, that's my load. Late no totals are stand by. Okay, 2630. I guess 263 um, bottles. It was probably about, I don't know, 8 or 9 rejected. That's okay. Uh, they were just soy milk and Asian stuff, so um, whatever. That's kind of what it is. I don't know exactly what's what has deposit, what doesn't, but not bad. Um, it, what it is is if I have small cans, then I get more money. Since I had big bottles, it take up more space, so it looks like I had I had more. In actual fact, I had less because the big big one liter bottles they used to be twenty cents, and now they're ten cents, so I lost money there. Kind of how it goes. Um, my, my renter gave me a couple of cell, three cell phones. I went to a cell place, or a, a computer repair place, and do other stuff. But I asked the guy who takes his e-waste and told me that he has a guy. I said, "Well, you know, I, I pay money for some, right?" Then he kind of his ears perked up there when I said I pay money. So the other guy's taking them for free. But giving him nothing, so that's what my, my renter gave me this three phones, an LG Nexus. He gave me this, uh, said they're all broken, but sometimes this might work, but it'll only run, run off a power cord, like right. Anyway, this is junk, gold recovery, I guess. So I told him I'm looking for old stuff. For gold recover, recovery, like I'm not looking for, you know, new updated stuff. RAM, I said RAM, and you know, circuit boards older the better. I told him, and he said, uh, email him. So I'm gonna have to email him because right now, you know, computers really worth nothing to be honest. There, you know, we don't have your buyers here, but you know, we do have a little scrap metal that comes out of there and things. So I think I would. If he's not getting nothing anyways, I might as well give him two bucks for desktops and dollar for laptops. Laptops, like I say, only thing in there is, is a board. And the board doesn't weigh nothing. So there's no point giving him any more because they're all dated and may, you know, either, you know, he's dumping it and not getting nothing. He might as well get something for something, right? But I seen uh, his desk, he had like dozens and dozens and dozens of laptops. It looked like they were all outdated, old. Which, to be honest, I don't really want laptops. You know, if I get them with the battery and everything, I can sell them as whole. But, you know, if I start taking them apart and incomplete, there's no buyer right now. And to ship material anywhere, it's just too expensive. You cannot ship it and make any kind of money. Unless you do high volume, like a big semi-trailer full. But, you know, sending the small parcels, board sword or anybody else, forget it. It's not going to work out. Anyways, I think that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed uh, the travels. We did HMS run. We did uh, got rid of our tires. You saw where they went to get properly disposed. So people say it's not worth it. Well, to me, it's not really about the money. It's it's about driving by and seeing these tires in alleys all the time, right? Why would all the time? That's all I see uh, tires everywhere. If I can get money just for the tire itself, a couple of bucks, I take the tires too. But the thing is. Only avenue is me taking these things. I get some HMS. The blade that I got, you've seen, it goes through like butter. I did, I did about 15 wheels. It took me about, say, an hour at the most. They cut so fast. I, but you know, I'll strip a couple and go take the the may the um, lead off there and separate the lead and you know try not to make too much noise continuously. But you know, I make a couple cuts and then take tires out and go back, grab a few more and so on and so on. But Diablo, it was medium steel, uh, and it cut really good, very impressive. But when it hits a tire, those rubber tires really hold the blade back big time. I mean, the grinders are rigid, seven inch, brand new, but you know, and and the things that it kicks like big time, you got to really hold it tight. It, it can kick you right into the leg. So, any event is uh, it's pretty easy now to cut tires off, but. Uh, as soon as I have a little more time and I clean my yard a little more, I'll set up my tire, my tire ch changer. And if that works good, we'll use that. If not, I'll just stay in the old method. The old method here, like I say, 
uh, I use my knife, cut it down the side like you saw in my video, and then cut the bead off, and that's it. It seems to work really fast and real quick. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, give it a like, thumbs up, uh, share, share the content to your friends. As always, have a great day.